And so if you're looking to motivate your team, to inspire them, don't talk about grandiose vision things. Don't talk about growth. Talk about people. Who is helped by the work that we do? A great example of this is the firm KPMG. In the United States, they had a problem with their level of employee satisfaction and their level of employee motivation. So they launched this campaign that they called the We Shape History campaign. And they talked about the way that, I mean, it's KPMG. They're a big four accounting firm. Let's be honest, it's boring. It's accounting. Yeah, she agrees with me. You know you're not, you must work in marketing. It's account, apologies to the accountants, right? But come on, hard to feel purpose. But they said, you know that we've been involved throughout our history in pivotal events throughout human history. So they launched this thing called the We Shaped History Campaign. And they talked about the way in which when the Lend-Lease Act, which was the way that the United States entered World War II by lending supplies, weapons, resources to the Allies, when that came into effect, do you know who managed all of the contracts and the logistics? It was us. It was KPMG. And when Nelson Mandela was let out of prison and allowed to run for president, became the first black president of South Africa, do you know who certified the elections in South Africa? It was KPMG. And after 9-11, when the, the tragedy struck and we had to build back New York, we had to put things together, do you know who managed the insurance contracts and the cleanup logistics and got people, not got their life back, but at least helped them mourn and helped them cope? Do you know who did that? It was us. So they launched the We Shape History campaign. They designed posters like this to talk about the way they were involved in pivotal moments in history. And then they launched the 10,000 Stories Challenge, which was, tell us what you do here. Tell us how you help people. And they, they created an app where people could make their own posters about the way that they helped farmers grow by working with credit unions and allowing for lending, or the way that they helped stop cybercrime by helping with forensic accounting and other security measures. They wanted 10,000 stories of individuals seeing their purpose through accounting. They got over 30,000 stories. And they got that change in their motivation, their change in employee satisfaction. But here's what's really interesting. That entire change was driven, when they looked at the data, by the answer to one question. In the employee satisfaction survey, they asked the question, how much do you agree or disagree with the statement, my team leader regularly communicates our purpose? And that made all the difference. 90% plus of people who could answer that question in the affirmative felt purpose and motivation at work, and only 60% who couldn't answer that question felt it. Huge difference.